Hi there everyone back with another video and in this video we will be learning all about for in loop. Before we get started if you are new to this channel please subscribe and also hit that bell button so that you will be notified whenever I come up with a new video. So with that being said guys I will uh, I will just explain you about for in loop with just this one single line. So what it does is it loops through the properties of an object. So now what you mean by looping through the properties of an object is I'll just have some uh, example object like person. So person object. So in this object I'm gonna have my name and I'll give the value as my name and I have also have a property called as age and I'll give my age and I will also have my phone number like one two three something like that this is a random number so if I just console it to the log what will be the output it just prints the object right so it will be printing an object so object has the properties and its values inside that object right so now what this for in loop does is so if I have some for in loop just like this so in inside of this for uh, loop what we need to do is we need to declare a, a looping variable called as I again guys you can uh, define any variable it's up to you so I'll give, uh, give it as I and I will just say I in person so now for every iteration inside this for in loop it loops through the properties like name age and phone number so for every iteration the value of I will be name or age or phone number so now what if I just do something like uh, just like this console.log and I'll just check the what will be the value of i in every iteration. So I'll just comment this off. Uh, okay. So now guys, let me see the output of this for in loop. So now as you can see here, we have got name, age and phone number, right? So these are the properties of our object person. So this is how for in loop works. So it loops to the properties and of properties of an object. So now question is, the question is, how to access the values of those properties right the name is a property age is a property and phone number is a property so now how to access those its values just like you know the, the value of you know Hanok and 25 and this phone number so if you want to do that for each iteration for this uh, key yeah this is what we call it as property or key so if for this key we need to fetch its value so what I'm gonna do I will just say in the console instead of printing the key I'll I will I need to print its value like just like this person of I so now guys it it what it basically we are doing here is it's we are just doing like person of name and for the next iteration we will be doing something like person of age that's it so this is how we will be accessing the value of this property so now if I just save this and refresh the browser as you can see here guys we have got the name and its value age and its value and phone number it's the the phone number of the person right so this is how we will be accessing the value inside for in loop so I'll just sum it up with this just one single line I'll just comment this so what I'm gonna do here is I will do some a uh, string uh, uh, adding we are seeing string concatenation and uh, I'll just say person of I so now as you can see here we have got name and uh, its value age and its value phone number and its value right so key and its values within just one single for loop right so if we have some uh, kind of a scenario like looping through some name and properties simultaneously this is the best solution for you guys to have for in loop in your logic so this is how it works in javascript i hope that this made your day so if you're new to this channel please make sure that you subscribe and also hit that bell button and so that you will you will not miss any one of my videos in the in the coming days right so this is it guys this is it all about for in loop so please like share comment and that's it so see you in the next video